Yeah, and just, just basically speaking on the Ahmed Aubrey situation. You know, it was tragic. I saw the video. Two against one. Come on now. You got shotguns. One is in the back. Looked like a bonafide lynching. It was tragic. Pray for the families and everyone who saw, especially to the young people, to be wise, you know. You should be able to jog and be a man of color, be black, and be able to jog wherever you want to jog. Hey, man, you know, it just didn't look right. But nevertheless, keeping in mind the earth is the Lord's and the fullness thereof. Go where you go, be wise, but know, take the Lord Jesus Christ with you. So in order to put on Christ, you got to be baptized in his name, in the name of the Son of God. He's the one who got up. He didn't just die. He didn't stay down. He got up. Amen. So let me uh, turn to, to the book real quick. Get your Bibles. I'm in 1 Timothy, the first chapter, just to speak about a few things. It says, knowing this. 1 Timothy 1 and 9, knowing this, that the law is not made for a righteous man, but for the lawless and disobedient, for the ungodly and for sinners, for unholy and profane, for murderers of fathers and murderers of mothers, for manslayers. That's murderers like those two that killed Ahmed Aubrey. And I'm glad that they locked up now. It should have been. Amen. Because it looked like a bona fide lynching. And you have a background in uh, law enforcement. And you was that ambitious to be some type of a uh, uh, wannabe vigilante and but nevertheless uh we'll see what happens amen but the bible speaks okay because the law and what comes with the law there's blessings but there's also cursings and it's for the manslayer it's for the murderer it's for whoremongers okay and for them that defile themselves with mankind a man sleeping with another man you ha you are defiling yourself with mankind Reminds me of Anderson Cooper, who recently came out on CNN talking about, oh, he's so glad he's a new he's a new father. Well, you're a liar. You're not a new father. Where's the mother? No, no. You have some man you're married to. And then you had a surrogate who is just as guilty as you because they're a partaker in your nasty lifestyle. So we don't believe what CNN promotes. They, they want a race war. They'll blow this thing up. You know, they'll get all these individuals speaking. Yeah, I, I'm upset. But, hey, I'm trying to tell you the solution is to come on back to the word of God. He that believeth, you got to believe the gospel, and is baptized, shall be saved. So you have to be baptized in the name of Jesus Christ, the Son of God. For men stealers, for liars, for perjured persons, and if there be anything that is contrary to sound doctrine, according to the glorious gospel of the blessed God, which was committed to my trust. Now, let me skip down to 13. Paul is speaking to the young man, Timothy, and who was before a blasphemer and a persecutor and injurious. So he used to be a violent. He was a persecutor of Christians, but he did it ignorantly and in unbelief. He goes on to say that uh, he was he was chief. He was when it came to sinners, he was chief. So God could turn a thuggery and and, and uh, you know, a lot of us rap sheet so long. It's bigger than your body, you know. But nevertheless, God could turn it around. He turned around Paul, who was a persecutor of Christians. We're living in a time they got murder hornets. This, this murder spirit being promoted in the world through gangster rap, thuggery, and abortion. People should be mad about that. Amen. So, but God could turn it around. Amen. He could turn it around for you. And I said, the only hope and the solution is the Lord Jesus Christ. Amen. Not seeing in what they're trying to promote. They're not going to tell you the truth. You got to be water baptized in the, in the Son of God's name. Amen. He got up. Amen. So let's push that. Let's tell the truth. Be blessed until the next time.